school and it will drop it on the child. Quite a number of you have already finished and I ask you to write to I say yes to that to make your mouth lead. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds. Just wait, right? I'm going to give you 20 seconds and then I would like now, what we're going to, what we're going to do together now, listen, as a class, is we're going to do a one minute race of mental maths. Okay? And when we do it together with the Victoria, we're going to, Victoria is going to click in a second on Find Me a Game. Um, let's, Victoria, click on Find Me a Game, and we're going to do one minute, one minute race. Now, Victoria, I suggest you use the number pad area. Enter the numbers here and enter the key, and you play up to three other people. Four. A mental math game, okay? Oh my god, there's another person playing. We have Australia, college. Australia, and she's a UK. Oh my god. So we're going to help Victoria here. We have 60 seconds, and you're all going to help. All right? It's multiplication. Uh, Come on, uh, 36 times 2. 72. 72. 72. 72. 72. Enter. Uh, I just closed it. 4 times 5. 20. 20. 20. Okay, shout out the answers, please. 15. 15. 16. 16. 16. Oh my god, look at them. They're wrong. Come on, 63. 63. No. Look at 50. Oh, you need to ask the questions. 70. 70. 70. Yeah, they did. They really enjoyed what they were seeing. Uh, I think they enjoyed the competitive nature. Some of the girls enjoyed the fact that they were creating their own character at the beginning as well and that they could then work hard to earn points to change that character. That seemed to really motivate them. They worked in twos well, they worked individually really well. I'm really pleased with what we saw. And you're saying competitive, but it's also they're actually learning and improving oh, their maths. Absolutely, yes. I mean, by being competitive, they're challenging themselves to reach higher levels. They obviously got the feedback from seeing where they'd made mistakes. They were able to go back and do some of the tests again to see if they could improve. It's going to be really useful for them. A little cutting edge 21st century mathematics teaching, isn't it? It is, it is. It definitely is. What we have here is a math resource that really answers the needs of the children. They have, they learn maths, it's 24-7, they can do it from school, from home, on holidays, wherever they're in, all they need is internet access. And the big difference here is that there, there's a competitive element which they love, it seems to be in our nature, the fact that we like competing. And besides competing, it's about also competing with others, 
either your neighbor here in Thurrock in Greys or it might be in London or as far as New Zealand or Australia. And that interactivity is just very engaging. Besides that, that has loads of different ways to reward the, the students through either credits where they accessorize their math, which is their avatar, or by earning points for certificates, silver, gold, or whatever, yeah. Do the boys and girls both achieve together or at different, different levels? It's, it's hard to tell. I mean, they, they, it really varies a lot, but I would say that me, because it's so individual and each one has their own space and time, I think they're not threatened and they can, you know, they, they end up achieving both the same which is different, very often different than a classroom setting because there's the pressure either of the teacher or the peers. Here it's one-to-one -one on their own. They can repeat exercises as much as they want and no one's, you know, nagging them or laughing at them or telling